What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your downloads and your revenues. And in part two of this YouTube series, we're going to talk all about how do you prioritize your keywords? Should you, ha should you have them in the title? Should you have in your, your subtitle? Where should you place all these keywords that you've done so much research on? And how important is it to have branded keywords? And joining me today is David Margrion, who is the head of ASO at an amazing ASO tool that you guys have to check out. It is called checkaso.io. It is linked up into the YouTube description, but go check it out. Checkaso.io. David, welcome back. Hi, Steve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, everyone who is watching us today. So let's talk about ASO a little bit today. When we have all done all the keyword research, how do we go about prioritizing which keywords end up in the title, which keywords end up in the subtitle, and which keywords end up into the, the keyword field in the long description on Google Play? Well, um, once you've uh, collected the semantic core, you will, um, you will have a large list of search queries, keywords that need to be uh, filtered and prioritized. And depending on your goals, uh, goals of your app, the primary metrics for prioritizing may vary, of course. So let's consider uh, a scenario that uh, you are doing ASO for the first time using a conscious uh, and comprehensive approach. And this may indicate that your app is most likely new or has recently been launched and most likely um, hasn't ranked, ranked yet high. Uh, the primary parameter to look out for is relevance, first of all, uh, because it makes no sense to work with keywords that will not make conversion rate grow and help you attract uh, the right users, especially the first, on the first stages of the promotion. So uh, it means that you should focus uh, on the most relevant keywords for you, for you and for your app. The second thing is popularity. Um, and now it's worth... Uh, nothing and recalling that you are working with a new app, which means that uh, you are first of all interested in medium and low frequency keywords. Try not to focus on high frequency keywords, first of all, because they are most competitive, uh, which won't do, um, do you any favors. You may want to start with uh, uh, small and move uh, on step by step and then adding um, high competitive keywords, uh, high frequency, sorry. And many uh, make the sense, uh, the same is many make the same mistake of uh, using the most popular keywords at this stage. And uh, when they, they, they don't manage to make um, it is, uh, it as, as intent, uh, they become disappointed in ASO and claim that it's not working. <laughs> so uh, don't do this way. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I've heard that many times. <laughs> uh, when focusing on popular keywords, um, you should keep in mind that the most popular apps uh, get ranked by those that have been in the market for a long time and are actively promoting with all possible channels. Uh, you supply. Uh, you simply won't be able to compete with them um, if you use these keywords. So uh, if you're a newbie, try to start with low frequency keywords. That's the right way to get higher. And another common mistake is uh, setting aside the, the least uh, popular keywords. Uh, this, is, uh, this is wrong for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is because keyword popularity tends to change over the time and you need to track all these keywords not if to refuse them right away because maybe in some weeks or maybe in uh, in a month they will will be more popular and you will lose them and the second thing the second reason is that uh, least popular doesn't necessarily uh, mean zero popular for example apple search ads has the least popularity score uh, of five i think everybody know that and this means that uh, this keyword may not be uh, any traffic at all, but there may also be a, a little bit of traffic. And all these mm -hmm. need to be tested and checked uh, until you 
you should definitely not refuse such queries um, at launch and if you are a new app. And um, um, as far as the change in popularity, this is especially true for them seasonal keywords uh, that are associated with uh, some kind of holiday or event, for example, New Year or Black Friday. Um, and uh, these keywords should be um, should be in your semantic core and you should track these keywords. Um, next parameters such as uh, competitiveness and complexity, complexity um, to assess how competitive a keyword is, knowing the number of apps uh, indexed by the keywords would be enough, I think. But uh, the fewer they are, the, the easier it will be to rank in the top. When it comes to complexity, um, the situation is not that straightforward. Typically, difficulty scores are based on several factors, including the ones I mentioned before, keyboard popularity, competitiveness, relevance, uh, different services, ASO analytic platforms, um, calculating these parameters different way. And you can just go check uh, any platform or maybe uh, estimate the complexity on your own based the, on the available data of uh, popularity and other things. Uh, so I think that's, uh, that's enough that for, for prioritization. I, mean, I can say something more about branded keywords. Sure. So hey, well, about, maybe on top of that too, David, one of the strategies that I've seen other people use is you know, maybe a keyword isn't as relevant, but they try to find keywords that have a lot of good traffic, but low, you know, apps showing up for it and then focusing on that. So I guess, and they tend to be more branded terms because you think about like branded terms, having a lot of traffic and lower competition. What do you think about that strategy? Um, so branded, branded keywords of your competitors is, uh, I think is a very, very important topic to discuss uh, because many people uh, question where they should uh, be used in metadata. And this is for uh, a reason. There is no answer to this question, but we can take a look at pros and cons of this approach. Uh, the main disadvantage of uh, these, uh, of branded keywords that stored guidelines don't allow using branded keywords. Uh, hence, uh, using them can result in a rejection or in an in extreme cases in a suspension. And low conversation rate is another disadvantage. Uh, the likelihood is getting insults from a branded keyword is extremely small, even if you rank second. Uh, the third disadvantage applies uh, mostly for App Store, uh, Apple App Store, since you uh, use an already small number of characters for branded queries instead of entering um, even less popular but relevant generic keyword there. And as for the pros, um, there are not many. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, branded keywords of your competitors can help you to get uh, uh, more impressions, of course, and potential installs of your product. Uh, if, if your product is um, is highly competitive and well developed. You can get some installs, but this amount won't be a big amount. So, secondly, there are uh, many branded uh, keywords in the App Store. First of all, uh, which index uh, the minimum number of apps, and it may be not difficult for for new app to get uh, to get to the top for them and get some part of their traffic. For example, you can find keywords, uh, and there will be um, only free apps indexed by these keywords and it could be branded. You can use this brand in your title and try to, to get some traffic from your brand. But it's, I think, um, uh, how to work with brand keywords, uh, it's up to you, first of all, because uh, uh, you need to assess the risk, first of all, and find out if, uh, if this approach is, uh, if is efficient, first of all, for your app, for keywords that you use in your promotion. Mm. So from your data, you or your opinion is that branded keywords, even if you're ranking two, may not boost your downloads as much as you think it will. Yeah, but you can use them 
if you have uh, if you have free space in your uh, text metadata, of course you can use them. But you I should see. you should don't forget about store guidelines. And I can say that if you are optimizing your metadata for the United States, uh, the moderators can uh, reject your app. Yeah. much uh, much more easier than maybe in in other countries for example in russia i can use any branded keywords and <laughs> there is <laughs> nothing for them so in the united states it's it's harder to use branded keywords for example than in russia or, or in other country yeah yeah for one of our clients who wanted to be really aggressive this is a couple of years ago but we use a branded keyword of a very popular app periscope and then mm -hmm. in the title in the us title they they let it go the app store managers but then periscope twitter came to us and said hey you're using our branded keywords and so don't use it so proceed with caution what i can share too is we had now this was a few years back but maybe i'll have some more data on this we did try to we got number two for a client of ours to on google play for a lot of his competitors now it didn't have a lot of traffic a lot of these competitors but at the same time we didn't see a huge lift in traffic either and so with the branded term people are probably likely looking for that particular brand and then you know like you might get incremental uplift in downloads but not a huge amount in downloads yeah because people know what they want to get they go to the store and search for the app they want to download you can get a lot of impressions but you won't get a lot of installs. So yeah, agreed. All right, guys, that's it. Join us for part three of this YouTube series where we're gonna talk all about ASO for apps ready to scale. So we've broke it down for new apps and now we're apps ready to scale. And in the last part, we're gonna talk about million dollar apps. So you've already scaled, you've got millions of dollars a month. How do you incorporate ASO into your overall marketing mix? All right, so join us for part three of this YouTube series.